I was surprised. You know, when I looked at the other polls in Virginia, two of the last six polls had big leads for Barack Obama, one of seven and one of eight points. This poll, much closer. I can tell you with a high degree of confidence, this is a close race. This is not a landslide for Barack Obama. Right now, the margin is only two points, and that pales with the kinds of margins we've seen in other polls that have taken at a similar time. Okay, so, this is, this, so how would you categorize the race? It's a dead heat. It's within the statistical margin of error. And Mitt Romney could be leading, or Barack Obama could be leading by a larger margin. But we're comfortable with these numbers. This is a two-point race, and it's close. And it's an amazing place to be leading up to the debates. Is the president's strength in Virginia similar to leads he has built in other small states? I don't think so. If you look at the polling in states like Nevada and Iowa and Ohio and Florida, those leads are high single digits, mid-high single digits. This is not the same. Virginia right now is a close race, and anybody can take it. Okay. Are there any positive signs for Governor Romney based on this report? I think the most the, the positive signs for Mitt Romney are, are the level of expectations. People are saying they like Barack Obama more than Mitt Romney. People are saying that Mitt Romney will be a better debater come next week. So the level of expectations is remarkably low for Mitt Romney. And so if he turns in a credible performance in those debates, anything can happen. The Virginia Senate race has been pretty close, 50-50. What's, uh, what's the separation? What do you see here? We're seeing exactly the same thing. We're seeing a very close race. We're seeing Barack Obama do a little bit better than Tim Kaine currently, but there's a bit of a lag. Well, well Barack oh. Obama, as a Democrat, okay. is, is polling better in Virginia than Tim Kaine, Democrat for senator. So it's not an exact correlation. So there's a little bit of a lag effect. And I guess the point of it is that uh, unlike other states, Barack Obama may not be able to pull Tim Kaine over the finish line. I think a lot of people thought the reverse, that Kaine might pull better than Barack Obama. We're not seeing that right now. Uh, I, think it, it, I think it's a good question, and I think our poll was pretty balanced. We had 3% more Democrats than Republicans in terms of party identification. But the real key is to look at the recall question. We actually asked who you did vote for in 2008, and by a five-point margin, people selected Barack Obama, and the actual number was 6.4. Barack Obama won by 6.4 percent in Virginia. So it's pretty close, and we feel very comfortable with it. Okay, great. Uh, is there a particular demographic group that either candidate did well with? The key is core constituents. In the West and in the South, um, the, the, where McCain did really well, they've got to run up the margins. And on the Democratic side, African-American turnout has to be a little bit higher, as does Northern Virginia turnout. It's really going to depend on turnout and intensity. Anything about women? Because I know that's a big thing for the president. There, there's always a gender gap, a better gender gap for uh, women with Barack Obama than women with Tim Kaine slightly. But overall, the gender gap played in Virginia, in some areas of the state larger than others. But uh, it, when you're thinking about targeting, and pulling blind voters out. If you're a Democrat, you're pulling women. If you're a Republican, you're pulling men out to vote. Uh, the ground game traditionally is very important. The ground game is, is worth two or three points in a race like this. The problem that Barack Obama has, and we picked this up in the USA Today poll that we did, um, is that there's a disproportionate amount of Democrats who are not going to vote in November nationally. Now, the ground game, I think the Democrats believe, will give them a two or three point advantage over 2008 levels. But the truth is, uh, is that they may just need that two or three point advantage just to break even to 2008 levels because four or five percent of Democrats who voted no way may not vote. And so that two or three percent ground game may st still may not be enough in the end, but it'll certainly help. So it's really anybody's game in, in Virginia. Both races are, absolutely. Anybody can win this state. And there is not going to be a landslide win on, uh, in either race, either the U.S. Senate race or the presidential race. Could be a late night on that night. It could be a recount race. Yes, it could be. I don't think a, I don't think a major swing based on the low undecided, unless there's a major gap in the debates. 
you've got single digit undecided, seven to eight percent, when you really pour through the numbers. You're not gonna have wild fluctuations in the vote. And so it puts a lot of pressure on the debates. It puts a lot of pressure on Barack Obama, who, who people have high expectations for coming into the debates. And I don't know if he'll be able to meet or exceed those expectations. So that's a concern for the Obama campaign. So Romney has, Romney's looking look, like this could be a good opportunity for Romney. An excellent performance would blow people away by Mitt Romney. A good performance would be impressive and may move poll numbers. People are expecting less. People are expecting a fair performance and an excellent performance by Barack Obama. So we'll see what actually happens. And, and, and Obama hasn't debated anyone in four years. And Romney has debated, what, 12 times in the, in the last 12 months? I mean, yeah. yeah. Technically, Romney should be shopper, uh, given the warm-ups he had with Rick Santorum and Newt Gingrich and company. Um, but, but we'll see. You know, R Romney has to be more likable also. You know, he still suffers from having a higher negative. Barack Obama doesn't have to be likable, but he's got to give people a reason to re-elect him, and he hasn't done that. Can you talk at all about like, whether or not that 47% video that got oh, so much play in the last couple of weeks had any effect on this uh, poll? Well, the 47% is interesting because in Virginia today, it's 46%. And it's not only 46% head-to-head, it's 46% job approval. So the number is chillingly close in terms of what we're seeing in Virginia today. Um, the problem is when you're the known quantity, the researchers know that when you're the known quantity and you're the incumbent president, it's very difficult to get to 50 when you're stuck at 46. He may get up to 47, 48, maybe 49 on a good day, but to stay at that level and to hit that level on election day is going to be very difficult because you, you are the known quantity. If, if people are holding back, there's a reason for that and there's a negative involved with that.